Hi friends, welcome to Carvesting. In today's video, we'll have a look at how we can access the location of a user in React Native using the Expo Location Package. So this is a very useful feature. We have seen it in a lot of applications that we use like Google Maps or any other kind of application where it will need to access our location and it gives some data related to it. So for that, we are going to be using the Expo Location Package as I said and it's actually a really easy step and it's very simple to use. Also, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it so I'll produce more content like this which you may find helpful. And let's get started. So to get started, we are going to be using the Expo Location uh, Package. So this is directly provided by Expo and if you go into docs.expo.dev SDK Location, I'll leave a link to this website in the description, you can see the documentation for this Location Package. You can also get it if you search in here for location in the Expo documentation website. So I have created a project in here and it is created with Expo in it and it's using TypeScript. It's up to you if you want to use TypeScript or not. So first you will need to go ahead and install a package called Expo Location. So if you come in here you can see that you have to install it. So that's the name of the package. I'm going to yarn at Expo Location. You can also use npm to do npm install Expo Location. So once you have installed that, you can open up your app.tsx and import everything from this package. So if you go down here, you can see that it's going to be showing us a huge example in here. So we can take some inspiration from this and do it out by ourselves. So first, we're going to be importing the location function, which will help give us all the access to the uh, API for this expo location package. So for that, we can do import star as location from expo location so we're going to import everything from this package as an object called location and in this location object we'll have access to everything that's provided by this package next we can have a use effect to give us ourselves permission as soon as the uh, the app is rendered so for that we can import use effect so use effect we can automatically import it from react and then just the way how we do it and we're having an emp empty dependency array so it runs the first time it is rendered now in here we're going to have an uh, asynchronous function and it's going to invoke itself so it's going to be an arrow function and as soon as it does it's going to automatically load it since we cannot have async in here and use effect does not uh, support async functions directly we're going to do it this way where we are running an async function inside this and we're going to run it automatically so now uh, we can just go ahead and access the permission for this location of the user now there are two types of permissions that we can uh, access the first permission is for the foreground permission and the other one is for the background so foreground means you are going to use the uh, location while the app is running so while the app is open you want to get the user's location for that you use the foreground permission but if you want to get the background permission that is when you want the always uh, location so whenever the uh, whichever app the user is using uh, it doesn't matter you want the location so that's when you want to use the background location right now we are going to be using the foreground location and this is how we use it as it's uh, shown in the doc so we can do let status is equal to location location dot request foreground permissions async and since it's async we'll need to add the async keyword here or the await keyword so that's going to give us a location and you can do uh, we can have a check on this and we can find out what kind of uh, answer we get so we can do if the permission if the status is granted then console.log permission successful next we can check else and you can give console.log permission not granted
so that should check out if uh, we got a permission or not next we can go ahead and give ourselves the current location of the user so for that if you go back here you can see it says you can get you should use this function and you can get the current position of the user so you can do const lock is equal to and you can see it's location of get current position async so we can await it location dot get current position async that's going to give us our position and you can also console dot log loc and you can create a state variable called location so const location comma set location oops is equal to use state and you can give in the default value as for example as an empty object and last we can just do set location as loc so that should set the location and in here we can just give a text and we can just json dot stringify the location next we can just run our application so we can do yarn ios or if you're using android you can use uh, yarn android and if you're using npm you can just do it that way so that's start going to start our builder our bundler and it's opened up in a my simulator and hopefully when it loads it should ask us for the permission so let's just wait for it to load and there you go you can see that it's asking us for the location you can turn on precise location on and off and you can do allow once allow while using the app and don't allow so if you want to give don't allow you can see permission not granted and you can see it's given us an error also so if you want to reset the permission you can just go to our home screen go into settings scroll down for expo go and then location ask next time or when I share and again if you go back to the application and if I click R to reload the app you can see again it's asking for it and if I give allow while using the app you can see it's giving us all the information we need great so it's also giving us latitude and longitude which is mainly enough for what we need for example if you wanted to go ahead and show the uh, map for example now we want to show the, this, uh, this, the city name then you can just go ahead for example use the Google's API the geocode API and you can give it lang a, lang a latitude, latitude and longitude and you can display it there too or you can for example display it in a map do whatever you like so thanks for watching and as I told you can still you extend upon this and create more functionality to this application and you can add things like showing the location and displaying it on a map. You can use the geocode API provided by Google that's also really useful. It gives a lot of features for example you can get the city name and different things and from the city name if you want you can get the weather from the open weather map API. So there's a lot of things you can do with this application. Thanks for watching and bye.